So I had seen everyone review and rave about this Asus Zephyrus G14, but I hadn't actually tested it myself. Now when I've been using it behind the scenes for more than a month, I get it. If you want the laptop that gets the design attention, is incredibly nice to use and packs a lot of power, then G14 is the one. And the AMD CPU and GPU combo inside here is seriously, seriously powerful. In fact, if you are a creative professional, I'd say maybe the GPU is even slightly too powerful for you and it's worth downgrading. Anyway, there's lots to talk about. Let's go. Now, arguably one of the most important things about the laptop is the laptop performance. But at the same time, the laptop has to have equal usability features that makes the usage and the using of the laptop pleasurable and nice to use because otherwise it just makes no sense because you can get a laptop that is extremely powerful, but if it's so unpractical to use, it makes no sense. For example, we can get a Honda Civic from 1990. You can stick a V8 in there and it's going to be probably one of the fastest, you know, cars you can get or build, but it's very impractical and it just wouldn't make any sense. And I bet 99.99% people would choose something less powerful that actually makes sense, is enough power for them, but is still great to use a day to day. And that's where this laptop comes in. Before we can look at the performance, we need to understand the form factor, okay? So this is a 14 inch laptop. It's got a 16 by nine aspect ratio screen. It weighs 1.72 kg, and you can get some impressive specs with this guy. For CPU, you can get up to AMD 6900, HS Ryzen 9 CPU and AMD Radeon 6800S GPU, 32 gigabytes of DDR5, one terabyte NVMe, 76 watt hours battery, a Bluetooth 5.2 Wi-Fi 6E and the 720p webcam, which is actually very helpful for on the go Zoom calls and also Windows Hello. The CPU performance of this laptop is incredible. Now I've built a desktop system with a Ryzen 7 5800X, which is an eight core CPU, 105 watt TDP, but it pulls actually much more power than that. Pretty much the same performance, neck to neck with that, but consumes less than half of the power. To get desktop size, power inside a 14 inch laptop like this one is seriously impressive. I'm going to leave some benchmark results on the screen so you can check it out and test it to your current system. But the general usability in my experience has been incredible with this CPU and GPU power. I had no trouble doing all my thumbnail and Photoshop and Lightroom work on this laptop. In fact, I didn't see much of a difference between this laptop and the desktop that's on the side down there that it's got fully rigged out, you know, ATX size desktop computer. This laptop was as fast in any of those tasks that I do for photo editing. And to consume less than half of the power, that, that's the most impressive thing. In terms of GPU, my version here has the Radeon 6800S GPU, which if you're a gamer, is gonna be incredible GPU for you and you're probably gonna love the performance for that. But as a creative professional and from a creator's point of view, I'd say this is a little bit too powerful for this laptop. And what I mean by that is that the video and photo editing applications and how I'm using this laptop, you don't really require that big of a GPU. In fact, I'd recommend you downgrading it to 6700S to save even more money. If you wanna know how much this costs and where you can pick it up, then I'd highly recommend checking out the link of Best Buy in the description below where you can get incredible steals for this one. Go check it out in there. So I'd say save some money, go with a 6700S if you are a creator, but if you're a gamer and you really like the, you know, very powerful GPU for gaming, then maybe the 6800S is a one you want to go for. Now the performance is incredible, but what really makes this laptop truly amazing for me are all the things around the laptop. First of all, the touchpad. It's very, very large and incredibly nice to use. Very sensitive, glass touchpad, you're gonna love using it. Secondly, the keyboard. This is one of my favorite things about this laptop. Now, I am not a big fan of this clicky clicky mechanical big keyboards. And one of my favorite, you know, keyboards is the um, MX keys from Logitech. This keyboard here is, I don't wanna say it, but, I like it even more than the MX keys. I wish there was a keyboard that was just a dedicated, you know, external keyboard that has that type of feel and I would get it because it's just so nice. 
a slightly softer texture when typing than the uh, MX keys and the travel and just it's just beautiful to use. It's like like butter, like a hot knife through butter. That's how I can like explain it to you. So all the emails and all the typing that I've done with this are very, very nice. All the keyboard size, honestly, it just works and it's incredibly nice. The keyboard also has RGB underneath that you can adjust through the armory crate or just have it white. So there is backlight there, but it is one zone RGB lighting. And then the display. When you're looking at this display, it's just amazing. The display is 120 hertz, quad HD, 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, HDR, Dolby Vision HDR rated by the way, 100% DCI P3. So as a creator, you're gonna you're gonna love the colors, the HDR. It's beautiful to look at, and the 120 hertz is actually very nice to use like if you haven't experienced that as a creator before to see the mouse even just whatever you do everything's just smooth on the screen which is which is just really nice and because of the 16 by 10 aspect ratio we're going to get a bit more vertical screen estate here and the bezels are actually quite small and i like that the bezels around it are plastic and not just glass all the way to the side which means that i'm just having less fingerprints on the screens so if i want to like grab the screen or something like that I can take it by the bezels not on the screen and see my fingerprints on the screen which is just really really nice by the way the screen goes all the way flat on the floor now another thing that really impressed me when using this laptop was the battery life it's just something that you really notice that you're using the laptop you know I'm doing all the emails I've been using for hours and hours and hours and then you look at the battery percentage and it's just amazing they've got some clever things going on in this laptop where they've got a mock switch basically which is for gaming is awesome it can directly direct the graphics power to the discrete GPU or the iGPU but for the battery life most of the time when you're not using you know the big graphics power you can just use the iGPU when you're typing emails or surfing the web or something like that which is clever software how they know you know like which power you need and I'd recommend putting the GPU to eco mode so it does do it you know like automatically switch between the DGPU and iGPU in fact this laptop has the most impressive battery life I have ever used. Now I haven't used loads of laptops. I know Benji Kaiser has and feel free to go check out his review on this as well. What I have experienced the battery life is incredible. The laptop also comes with a 240 watt power brick which gives you up to 50% of battery life in 30 minutes of charge. We've also got to talk about the design of the laptop. Now, this is something that you either like or dislike, but there's a few things going on around the laptop that I just very much like. First of all, the laptop is white, not just inside the keyboard. The keyboard has slightly different tint. I'm not sure if you if you can notice this, but it's it's slightly different, but everything is is white. And I like that the screen isn't white. You've got black around the screen. That's much better as a creator as well to get the back contrast of the screen but around the laptop you can see white in here underneath this part is silver but around the chassis everything is white around the laptop which is beautiful to look at but if you don't like the white of the laptop there is also a black or gray version also available and the naming is pretty clever as well this is moonlight white and the black version is called Eclipse Grey. You might have noticed that in the back of this screen, you can get a model that also has this type of LED screen. So there's loads of LEDs. All of these tiny dots are little LEDs. And basically you can get clever things done with this. Now I think most people don't need it and don't need to pay extra for it. And I recommend downgrading this and don't get the version with the back like anime matrix uh, kind of screen. Let me know what you think about it because I'm curious. I'm like 50-50 on it. Like 90% of the time I wouldn't use it, but it's nice to look at a cool feature if you want to show it off. Or let's say you, you go somewhere for work or even this and you put something there they're like whoa what's this laptop that's pretty cool don't really think this is worth paying for i don't know let me know what you think by the way all usb ports are 10 gigabits per second speeds and the usb c ports also support display pass through which is awesome so on the right side we have two type a ports both 10 gigabits in speed type c and a micro sd card slot this is uhs 2 speeds which is very very nice now i wish this was full size sd card slot but better this than nothing on the left side we have the dc plug 
HDMI port and another USB-C port. And this is also power delivery, so you can actually charge this laptop via this USB-C. If you've got a USB-C power brick that maybe you want to use for travel, you take one brick that charges your phone and can charge the laptop at the same time. Then this supports up to 100 watts power charge. And then you've got a mic and headphone combo jack in there. Another cool note about the Type-C ports here is the connection to the graphics card. One of them is connected to the iGPU and one of them to the DGPU. Now the speakers of this laptop are Dolby Atmos rated and the experience I've had with this is just amazing. Like the, the speakers sound very, very good. And for me to try to give you some kind of view of how do these sound really doesn't do justice. I highly recommend you go to a shop to actually test or feel this yourself try to find like one of the local shops that has this on in store and then you can really feel the uh, you know speakers work but they're just incredible in terms of upgradeability this laptop also stands out compared to some of the other 14 15 inch laptops which have a lot of the upgradeability really sold it to the motherboard this laptop here has one ddr5 slot and one m.2 slot so you can actually upgrade the M.2 if you want to, as well as the RAM. But when we're talking about the RAM upgradability, I'm kind of confused about it because as much as I can see, the models you can buy are only 16 or 32 gigabyte models, which means that you've got half of the RAM soldered onto the motherboard, whether it's eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. And then you've got another DIMM, which is the same size as a saw DIMM stick. And you can upgrade this. My version has 32 gigabytes. And when I stuck another 32 gigabyte module to that slot, which should give us 48 gigabytes in total, the laptop only recognized 32 gigabytes, which just shows me that this laptop only supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And I don't recommend you upgrading it past 32 gigabytes because you're not going to see any performance increase. But then at the same time, why do we even have this sodium stick there? If we have eight or 16 gigabytes already soldered to the motherboard, if you have, let's say 16 gigabyte model, you have eight gigabytes soldered to the motherboard, you put a 16 gigabyte stick in there you get 24 gigabytes now is this ideal not really but there is a little bit of an upgrade path i just wish that maybe this laptop models when you buy it would just come with 16 gigabytes soldered onto the motherboard and then just leave it empty on the other slot and then we can decide whether we want to put 8 or 16 gigabytes in there because that would be for us as end users would be more kind of cost effective way of upgrading that stick there but at the same time I guess one stick upgradability is better than nothing. So I'm kind of halfy halfy on this one. Another quick tip is install Quick Look from Microsoft Store to your Windows 11 here so you can preview files much quicker. Now, a lot of the codecs aren't really supported on Windows alone, especially if it's H.265, you can't play it back unless you buy or get some kind of other player. But if you've got Quick Look, installed, hit spacebar, and you can play back H.265 codecs as well, which is just a nice quick way of previewing files. I love it. In terms of which model would I recommend you to buy is I think the best bang for buck model for this laptop would be the one with a 6900H CPU and Radeon RX 6700S GPU with 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'll leave the best models for you to check out through the best buy links in the description below. I think if you're a creative professional, 32 gigabytes would be a better option, especially if you do a lot of photo editing and so on and like multitasking and have loads of things open in there. 16 gigabytes starts to be slightly less, but if you do use this for very simple tasks and just you know, use maybe a desktop tower, but then have this as a secondary thing on the go, doing emails or some other simple things, then 16 gigabytes is fine as well to save extra cash. Now, a few things that I think Asus can improve with this laptop. First of all, the upgradability that I mentioned before, either give us an upgradability or don't. Secondly, the SSD speeds. Now, the SSD speeds really are Gen 3 speeds in terms of maximum read and write sequential speeds. Even though the slot is PCI Gen 4 
capable. So I would have loved to see Gen 4 SSD there, you know, 4 plus gigabytes per second, read and write speed or something like that. But at the same time, there's the opportunity for you to upgrade the SSD for something better there, which I guess is our benefit. But I'd love to see it in the laptop already installed. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a laptop that has incredible CPU and GPU power, especially if you're a gamer, super nice usability and design, then you can't go wrong with this laptop. And I see why people love it and why there's such buzz about this laptop. So if you're looking for a laptop to treat yourself for during this holiday season, then I highly recommend you check out this G14 through the links in the description below. Best Buy has one of the best prices for this laptop available as well. Highly recommend checking out. Plus the return policy and customer service is very highly rated as well. So what can I say? I like it.